A new security team is hitting the streets of North Minneapolis, equipped with special skills like de-escalation techniques and mental health training. They're called community safety specialists. As Richard Reeve reports, 13 of these specialists officially graduated tonight after a year and a half of training as part of a different approach to public safety. A proud moment for these new graduates. Their goal is to keep North Minneapolis safe. It's a feeling of gratification, you know, to serve the community I grew up in and I'm from. I want to see prosper, so. so it was a good feeling, great feeling. These 13 grads are the very first community safety specialists. They are not police, but instead are an unarmed, uniformed neighborhood safety force with special skills. They're licensed emergency medical first responders. They're licensed um, mental health first responders. That scales smaller with the Northside Residents Redevelopment Council. He says the new specialists received 160 hours of classroom training and got more than 2,100 hours of field training in CPR, mental health skills, and first aid. When they approach a scene to tell if someone's having an anxiety attack versus a panic attack to see if they're bipolar, um, they've learned to read these signs to help with de-escalation. The program getting a shout out from Mayor Jacob Fry. You all are now equipped to do some incredible work. Each specialist is assigned a district made of six to 13 blocks where they get to know residents and local businesses. They pass out cards with contact information while on patrol to establish personal connections. Each neighbor caring for each neighbor in a way to where you know there's not just a hood no more, but the neighbors are back to make the neighborhood connect. With their training, the specialists have already been patrolling the streets for months. Many are from North Minneapolis. They now carry naloxone, which counters the effects of a drug overdose, and are ready with de-escalation and other skills. Understanding the significance of mental health, you know, everyone's not a drug addict, everyone's not, you know, prison bound. Some people just need a little help, a little therapy, a little mental health evaluation. And Smaller says the funding for the program costs about $1.4 million, about 500000 of that comes from the city. The rest is from foundation grants and private donations. But he notes that CSS, as it's called, is already making a difference. Smaller says specialists have intervened five times to save the lives of residents, including two victims of gun violence, and adds group members teamed up with residents and the city to have two drug houses demolished. Callan? Richard Reeve reporting.